Rescue Mission Day 16. Look at all this deliciousness surrounding me. I feel like a man in the desert watching another man drown. They will never know the pain I feel. Right, administer the cure at once. Look at how happy she is. If only I could be that happy. Yes, Captain. What a wonderful day it is to be alive. Rescuing people. Look at him. He takes joy simply in rescuing people and... Although he does drink blood and that... I do like him for that. I do understand the... Desire for a thick, juicy steak. Patch. A true gambler that revels in the game of life and leaves it all up to fate. He came to this planet with high hopes and high stakes. Harmon. Our work doesn't end here. That's all I got. Goodbye. Man, uh, we have a lot of people to talk to. Oh, Dango! I've, I've kind of blown you off the past three or two or three days. Oh, you think you got this under control? Jeff, is that it? Is that- you think you're better than me? I don't want you to pull a fast one on me. Take some plastic, Jeff. To prove that I'm better than you, Jeff, I found all this. I see, well, you're not d done yet, newbie, Jeff. Keep at it and finish the job, Jeff. Where's the- where's the gambler we found? Where- where is he? Where? You're somebody. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. Here is some plastic. There you are, the unforementioned token. That is my thanks for all your hard work. Merci beaucoup. You have nothing to say. Whose spaceship is that? I have no idea. I've never seen it before. Um... <laughs> ah, she, you're the one who saved me. Well, that means I still survived, so I won the battle between myself and this planet after all. I did get a little help from you, but it's not like that matters in a survival challenge wherever anything goes. There's an ongoing battle happening between you and this planet. A long haul fight can't make it hard to stay focused. Let's simplify and settle things once and for all. Hmm, how about this? You win if you defeat more than 100 creatures indigenous to this planet. What's the meaning of such a challenge? There is no meaning. Some challenges only have significance if they are meaningless. It's obvious that you possess great skill and are remarkably efficient. Take some plastic. It's not a lot, but please accept those. I suppose you could call it a small reward. Wow, we're close to beating that mission. We've murdered a lot of things. Is it 300 unique creatures? Because I don't feel like we've read about 300 unique creatures from Imperfect Cell. False. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to apologize. I can't do much for you under these, well, difficult circumstances. I'm acting as the leader of a research task force. Though its members are so skilled, they hardly need me. What I mean is, I'm technically the leader, but the others are the stars of the operation. They make my life, my job, easy. I actually made a D and D character very similar to him, the leader that doesn't need to do anything. It's a fun concept. Hey, is it okay if I ask a little favor of you? From what I can see, not all of the task force members have been found. I know you're very busy, believe me, but I'd appreciate it if you could also find and rescue my missing team members. If there's anyone who can do this, it's you. There are nine of us, and you have two apparently. Alright. It's kind of cool that there are unique sets of captains as well. It's almost like the treasures and, I guess, the beast families, where they just, like... I, I don't know, it's it's neat that there's there are little sub-stories going on. I like it. Okie doke. Uh, you know what we could probably start doing? We could start probably start completing a night expedition every time we catch a uh, catch. We find a leafling... 
I, that, that, that's it. Uh, that's actually what, that's, <laughs> I, I said that in one go. That worked out well. Uh, we don't have any more treasure to talk about, so we do have, however, some beasts to hear about. All right. We're almost done, wow. The majesty of nature, the mystery of life. I feel that these stale cliches can fully express the extraordinary symbiotic relationship between Pikmin and onions. Is there a connection here of an affectionate nature, perhaps? There's so, still so much we don't know. Oh, look. Dice finally. Great. Sautéin oil. I can barely stand the grumbling in my tummy right now. But when you see one of these shiver or twitch, you'll realize that this is a living thing, and we must treat it with consideration as such. By dicing it finely, grating it, and sautéing it in oil. Candy Pop Bud. Oh, they're all just under one group. That's sad. Also, we have a... F we found a frigid one, and it's not in the picture. It's not in the family photo. The longer I look at it, the more I feel a strange urge to throw something into it. Succumbing to the intrusive thought, I once threw a bomb into one. When I did, Patui, it spit the bomb right back out. I can't help seeing some sort of lifelike response in that. I'm definitely going to try that next time I find one. Pellet Posey. The pellet cradled in its, in its petals changes colors like some form of chameleon, aligning to match the color of nearby Pikmin. It's almost as if it's inviting us to come harvest it to make more. Even though it only appears to be helping out, it's really just using us to spread its seeds. Are Pikmin its seeds? Yeah. Burgeoning Spiderwort. This fruit, unlike a pellet, is juicy and pulpy. What's more is that not, it's not just any juice inside it. There's a super spicy spice in there. Eating spicy things can be a fun way to jumpstart our taste buds. Perhaps the Pikmin in this world like to spice things up as well. Glow Pikmin. Here you are, far from home, stranded on a strange planet, with a night even more dangerous than the unforgiving day. But in that night, the faint, gentle light given off by these glorious, glowing little beans brings hope to our adventurers. That shine is a beacon of life that we can recognize in our hearts. Luminal. Nature is a high-risk, high-reward type of environment. The Luminal braves the danger, seeking self-destruction, to emit a light that lures creatures so it can propagate more glow Pikmin using glow pellets. But is that all? Could the glow sap also be luring us? Mm. And that's it! We are fully caught up. Look at that. Now we can just start reading these as new enemies appear. There are no new enemies left to read about. <laughs> Guess what? Ochibot. <laughs> Train. Improve. That's an order. <laughs> Okay, so we can upgrade Rush. Almost running out. Ah, man. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? For the amount of times massive things are buried, I think digging is probably what I want to do. It only costs one. I've run into it quite a few times now. I could upgrade it again, but I think what I'm going to upgrade instead is heal. Uh, now that I now that we're dealing with with nighttime expeditions, I'm seeing a lot of these abilities in a new light. While I really don't in in encounter needing to have a passive heal on Ochi uh, during the day, at night when he's protecting something all on his lonesome, it's really good because I'm not there to give him a bone. So I think we're going with heal. I think it will come in very helpful very soon. 
on the table. Pass. Okay. Next. Riba, riba, ruba, da, ruba, squa, do. Uh, we have 141. I would like to keep stocked up on mines. I think, just keep five. Let's just, let's try keeping five of almost anything. Uh, but what I want is, yeah. Yeah. Again, now that I'm encountering co a nighttime combat where I'm leaving Ochi to fend for hi himself, his health is now actually important. He hasn't gotten that damage so far, but, like, the challenges are getting harder. And so this is getting more important. Come back! Please, I'm very lonely! And now, we're going to explore! We have a new area to go to. I could go back to the very first area, but uh, we, we just did that. I think it's time for us to set our sights on new horizons. On the serene shores. And here we fly away! Or I do vicariously through you! Uh, I promised that I would actually talk about this in the Pikmin 4 recording. So we're going to do it now, and I might actually talk, I'm going to talk through the uh, the loading screen, which usually I try not to do. Uh, I am getting surgery soon on my hand, uh, and so there might be a, a channel hiatus. Uh, thankfully, this is the last day I'm recording in the session, so there there's a chance that I'll be recovered by then. But I basically, uh, in my left hand, at the, the ring finger joint, which it's very fitting that I have a, a problem with the ring finger in my hand, it's almost like fate... Uh, anyway, uh, I, there's, I have a ganglion cyst that I need to get removed. So that's that's happening in two days. Uh, they want to do some check checkups first, but in two days, that's happening. And so there might be a hiatus as I recover. I don't imagine it'd be long because I don't really need that finger for recording, but you, you never know. It's weird. I came back from Yellowstone and encountering bison and bears and all, all the stuff there in snow in September for some reason. And immediately after that, I'm going on yet another adventure of my, really one of my first, well, actually, technically my second surgery. Uh, you know what? That's a very good point. We're going to do just that. Pack drone. I don't, I'm not going to scope out everything. Okay, so that that's happening over there. But, I would like to... How do I angle it flat? Can I angle it flat? I don't think I can. There we go. I don't really want to get the full lay of the land. Because I like being surprised, but we are gonna... Look at that. Whatever that is. I, I would like to get an immediate surrounding. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, that's, that's fine. I think what we're going to need is a copious amount of blues, and that's what it's recommending as well. Blues and... 35 ice, 25 blues. I think that's probably a good cutoff. I should be able to freeze the water with that. And we're going to start off by grabbing some plastic. And uh, some more plastic. And I wouldn't be surprised if the ice onion was here. Is there anything right there? No. Also, this is... We're, out, we're at the beach. The last time we were at the beach was, uh... 40. Of course it is. The last time we were at the beach was technically the final trial in Pikmin 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't entirely know if it's worth it to freeze that body water, because I'm only going to have a couple Pikmin to my name at that point. But I'll have Ochi, and I, th I have a feeling it's going to kill that enemy, which I always forget what it is. Yeah, it is. Permafrozen, too. Nice. There's a water double down there that's frozen. Good to know. Uh, we'll deal with that real quick. And there's Olimar. Go, Ochi. Go. Thank you. Hello. Mano? 
It's that leafling again. And the figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. He does look very official. Also, that looks like Olimar. Look at that profile. Not uh, not the leafling, but the, the captain. This is no joke, Colin. They could be tur turned to a leafling, Colin. What are you standing around for, Jeff? Hurry up and save him, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I'll get there. I want to build this bridge first for unknown... Why do I actually need this bridge? Like, wait, what... What is the purpose of this bridge? I have it frozen. <gasps> Molly! It's Molly! I love her! As a kid, I, I called her Molly after Mollusk. And it just stuck. I, I just, I love that enemy. They have, she has the strawberry on her back. It's, it's great. Uh, that will stay there. We're gonna go in right now. Tackle this first and foremost. I still don't understand exactly why that we needed to build a bridge, but uh, it's options, I guess. We might not have had Ice Pikmin, that's fair, but then we could have just swam across. I, I don't know. I guess if we didn't have Ice Pikmin, we could have swam across, but we couldn't have brought the captain back. I have been waiting for you. I now have a new rule that I will use to test you. I'll explain it in time. Let us begin. I can't just say that, buddy. Also, why do you start with more Pikmin than I do? That's not fair. Uh-oh. Um, okay, we'll deal with that in a sec. You go kill him. Good, good, good stuff. Oh, also, we don't need to pluck Pikmin! Ooh, that's, that's sweet. Uh, jump. Get ready to charge. As always, my number one priority uh, my number one priority is denying Olimar's resources. This is a mystery capsule. As you now know, Dandori is part luck. This is an item of mystery, so you cannot know what will emerge from its depths. If you use these items, your Dandori will succeed. Pick up many. Use many. Ah, and it, I, they can be used on me. Okay. Got it. And I just touch them and they work. Uh, you guys get back, get back. Uh, Ochi, you carry that because it, it takes seven. You get that. You get that. I can press Y. That's not what I wanted. But it happened. Okay. Whoops. Whoopsie. No enemies are around here. I should be able to kind of tackle this corner on my own. Um, Jeff, yeah, you should probably go back to base. Whoa! I was wondering. I felt like this space was a little bit too empty. It is. It cannon beat a larva. And it sucks up air through the top of it. That's new. I don't like that. That's kind of disturbing. Go! I lost one. He's a lot. I guess it makes sense that he's he's armored, because he deals. He has a lot more health than he did. Okay, that's not too bad. One, two, three. One, two, three. I said. One, two, three. That takes seven. Ochi. You get that, as I trained you to do. Jeff, we'll do that. Whoa, what's that? This is a golden sniffer. It is heavy and its value is high. A rare treasure indeed. If you can collect this, it will carry you closer to victory. What do I get? What do I get? I don't know what that is. I'm going to wait till I have an enemy. And then I'll deal with it. Uh, ooh, golden sniffer. It takes 30. Dog, 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 dog. You get that? They can get that. It only, it only takes seven. Or I only have seven, so I'll need some more. But while they're... The outcome is still not decided. One, two, three. You killed that. Throw you guys on that. And we're, we're doing it. I mean, Olimar really doesn't stand much of a chance, especially now that we have the Golden Sniffer, as it's called. 
Yeah, we're doing great. It looks like he has he has some more hurdles than we do. He, ha he has to go around stuff. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but I did something. And I have a shock attack, apparently. Let's go use that. Ah, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what happened. Go, OG. Oh, yeah, you, you beat them up. Bring them back. Come on, Pikmin. Good job. Yeah, no, this is... This is easy. I, I, I don't know when Olimar's gonna start turning up the difficulty, because he hasn't yet. Uh, you guys, I actually don't want you to do that. One, two, three, four, and then you work on that. Switch it over to Ochi. Are you not? Oh, you're being attacked. That's fair. Okay, let's get out of their base then. Get off me! They actually deal a lot of damage. Sheesh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh, but maybe I could... Maybe I could grab this. Yeah, they're not doing anything. They're fine. They're fine. Interrupt Olimar a little bit. We have a shock attack. Uh, we'll grab them. We have some stuff that's respawned. We have the lime. Let's start invading his terror. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't. I don't really need to. I don't need to deny him resources. We're just gonna deal with that. Yeah. No, we're we're good. We're good. Honestly, there's really not anything that is gonna be happening here. I can grab. I can grab this guy. Oh, and stun Olmar too. That's good. Come on. I need your help. Or maybe I don't. I'm fine. Come on, go. I guess that's that's not going to be raising my value at all. And yeah, we trounced him. Honestly, I'm wondering when he's going to start bringing the heat, because that was embarrassing. At no point was he in the lead. He really, just didn't do anything. I guess he's introducing a new concept, but. Like, the, the good reward was beating him by at least 60, and I beat him by 100. You have, again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. The scary thing is, is because we know that there are... There are higher levels of difficulty, we know that he's gonna get a lot more terrifying.